Alright fellas, it's time for some Black Ops 2. Probably gonna start playing this game a lot more now that uh, Advanced Warfare is just around the corner. And as soon as that game comes out, I'm gonna be streaming that game a fuckload. And I'm gonna be playing it also a fuckload. So, to get ready for it, I'm gonna jump into some League Play straight away. Haven't really had that much of a warm-up, so jumping into League Play is pretty fucking dumb. Because you really get raped. Because this playlist is really full of people who are, like, a lot more experienced playing this game. And they actually have an idea on what they're doing. When you play, like, a pub game on COD, it's more of, like, you're versing, like, people who really have no, like, hands or brains or, like, any idea what they're doing. So it's pretty easy to get, like, a high kill game. But League Play, it's a lot more competitive. The people in it actually know what they're doing. So I prefer this over pub. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm playing it. This is, I played a lot of League Play when I played Black Ops 2 when it was out, like the year it was out before Ghosts, but it seems like this game is actually more popular than Ghost because Ghost is pretty fucking bad, really. I don't know how long this is going to take for me to actually find a game as well. It could be in the lobby for a couple of hours, but there we go, we just found some people, so I, I guess we're not going to be. There's 3,894 people online playing. It's probably more than Ghosts at the moment, actually, but the main thing I'm going to be playing in Advanced Warfare is going to be the ranked playlist, because that's what I prefer. I prefer playing what the pro players are playing. Oh, hard points. See, that's good. Hard points, good. Prefer playing, like, the game modes and, like, the whole rule set and everything that the pro players are playing, because then I, like, get into watching the competitive scene a lot more because I guess it's more it's like easier to relate to because it's like I'm playing that and then they're playing that so I'm playing the same sort of thing and then that's what really happened during Black Ops 2 I really got into it because I watched all the pro players play and I was like fuck I want to do what they're doing and then League Play was there and had the exact same rule set that they were using and it was really fun playing what they were playing and then like you'd want to watch the competitive games and just sort of like watch what they do to be Froze wants me to join an Xbox Live Party yeah, because I'm going to do that because I'm definitely going to join your party. But um, one of my other players hasn't really spawned in yet, so I'm going to try and take control of this blue blue house here. But like, I haven't played for a while. This is my first game. Teammate just got a two-piece. That's pretty good for the team, really. I'm not really going to be playing too objective-based. I just got fucked up then. Not a good start, boys. Not a good start. We've got to rotate to blue. Rotate back to blue. One's definitely going to be in blue, I'd say. I'm fucking dumb if they're not. They really haven't taken blue. That's one. And I get fucking worried. Welcome back to Black Ops 2, where lag compensation is completely fucked. We just gotta hold, like, hardpoint really is about all the spawns, so you've really just gotta hold spawns for this, not push up too far. There we go, got a first kill. We're on the board. Could have been a bad gameplay, really, if I hadn't got a kill, but I did. So we just spawned out, which means they're spawning in. So that means, ooh, I just spawned in, actually. Unlucky. All right, we got one kill. Ooh, here we go. We're getting fucked on now. We're going to start spawning out. So hard point really is about all the spawns and everything. So you've really got to play the game with spawn knowledge. But um, yeah, when Advanced Warfare comes out, I'm going to be playing the uh, ranked playlist a lot. I'm going to be playing a lot of the ranked playlist because I find that a lot fun. And I think during Ghosts, I think Call of Duty the competitive scene sort of died off a little bit. Just because the game was really boring, there wasn't really League play in it or anything, and um, you couldn't really play what they were playing. So I'm hoping Advanced Warfare does actually turn out to be as fun as Black Ops 2 was competitively. And I think it will be, because like Hardpoint's returning, CTF's returning, you've got all like the decent um, game modes that you really need to make like a successful competitive Call of Duty game. So people are like, oh, the exosuits are fucking gay, I don't want to fucking play with them. I think they're going to be fun. Like it adds so much movement to the, to the game game that like you're really gonna be able to outplay the other like the other players I guess like just through your movement like you're gonna be able to get some pretty cool like mid-air strafes or like they're shooting you from behind and then you strafe over and get like turn on them and kill them like it's just gonna it's gonna be a lot funner I've been playing too much destiny I went for the R1 for the stab the RB for the stab but um I forgot that B was actually melee in this game so I should probably start playing a lot more black ops 2 before advanced warfare otherwise I'm gonna be like stabbing using the RB rather than the B if that makes sense and yeah the um um, the ranked playlist, like, for me, at the moment, Call of Duty used to be fun pub stomping when I first got the game. When the game first sort of came out, it was pretty fun. You just jump into, like, a team deathmatch or, like, a domination or something, and then you just, like, sort of just dominate the entire lobby. But for me now, like, I prefer playing against people who are actually good at the game. Because if you get the win and you actually kill them, it means you've actually, like, deserved the kill because you've actually killed someone who actually knows what they're doing. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to Advanced Warfare coming out. I don't know what this guy behind us is really doing to be 
honest. So that game comes out on like, what, November 3rd if you get like the pre-order bonus or whatever it is? The day, the day zero edition. But um, what are you guys, are you, are you guys looking forward to mostly, what, playing League Play, playing the ranked playlist in Advanced Warfare? Like what's, what's the thing that you guys are like most looking forward to in Advanced Warfare? Is it the exosuits? Because there's a pretty big major point on what like the game is about. I mean like the whole thing's about the exosuit. And I know there's like an exo, like a non-exo playlist sort of thing. But like, I just don't understand. Like that doesn't really make sense to me because it means that Sledgehammer has pretty much been like, yeah, we don't have confidence in our game that it's going to be successful and fun and that people are going to like it. So we're going to throw in an, an, a non-exo playlist to, uh, you know, satisfy and please those guys that don't like the exo suits. Yeah, so bringing the non-exo exo playlist doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Like it just doesn't, doesn't really make sense. It just shows the developer doesn't have confidence in their game. And they should because I reckon it's fucking, it's going to be cool. But it's sort of weird because it's like, what's going to happen if like it is successful, people really like it. And then like, I'm sure the next like game after Advanced Warfare comes out isn't going to be like, it's not going to have all the exo suits. Like I'm pretty sure there's like pretty much a lot of room going around that it's going to be like a, a World at War 2 sort of game that Treyarch does. So I don't know that it's going to be weird transitioning to like exo suits in Advanced Warfare and then sort of like going back to normal Call of Duty gameplay where it's just like more about gun on gun rather than like movement sort of thing. But um, yeah, that'll be interesting because Treyarch's going to have to come out with something pretty good if the exosuit movement is actually successful. We're probably going to lose this game, but that's alright because I don't really care about winning it to be honest. Just wanted to do a bit of a live comp. But yeah, what? so what have I been playing? I've been playing a lot of Destiny. Like before Destiny came in, I didn't really know what game to play. I was playing a lot of Counter-Strike Go because that game, it's pretty much five five search and destroy really it's like completely different to call of duty so don't get fucking angry at me if you're like it's not the same game at all i know it's completely different but like ghost was so fucking boring that that was pretty much the feeling game that a lot of people started playing like you saw a lot of the pro players as well on their streams and stuff started to play like counter-strike go because ghost was so boring that you wouldn't really want to play like ghosts like if you're a competitive player you wouldn't really want to play between playing your competitive matches because it's so boring what the fuck happened, bro? i fucking dropped the 40 bomb and we still lost the game Ah, my team needs to pick up the game a bit. 12 captures, 10 defends, 42 kills, and we still lost. Wow. Anyone want to party up? Because I'm sick of shit team. <laughs> Hilarious. So, yeah, I was playing a lot of Destiny. When Destiny came out, I was like, I wasn't actually going to get it, and then I got it sort of like the first day it came out, and I decided that day that I was going to get it, and I was pretty happy that I did because it actually turned out to be extremely fun. And it's actually like, considering there's no good games on Xbox One, it was a pretty good fill-in game between sort of like, I guess, since it came out and when Advanced Warfare comes in. So that's the only... Like, I've been playing Destiny because there's no other games to play on Xbox One, and I'm probably not going to play it as much when when Advanced Warfare comes out or like at all sort of thing but at the moment when there's no like good games on the Xbox One it's sort of just like it's a good fill-in game until Advanced Warfare comes out and the thing in that game that I really liked was the whole loot system in it it's really fun and Advanced Warfare is coming out with their own loot system as well I don't know how it's really gonna work I think you get like supply drops at the end of every game you also get rewards for completing challenges and you also get rewards for probably ranking up as well so that's pretty cool the loot system is really good it gets you like really you just want to keep playing the game playing the game because you just want that like that sick item that like no one's got and you could potentially get it and then you've got it and no one else has got it and then it just feels like cool so that's like another reason that I think Advanced Warfare is going to be pretty successful as well like the whole loot system thing so I'm really looking forward to that I don't know how long this video is actually gone for I guess it was more of a, a serious talk about Advanced Warfare this video wasn't it so anyway guys that's probably going to wrap it up that's what's been happening that's what I'm doing at the moment for the loot lead up of Advanced Warfare and once that game drops it's going to be non-stop Advanced Warfare and probably Advanced Warfare uploads on this channel as well. So yeah that's going to be the end of the video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little live com on Black Ops 2. Played a bit of Hardpoint. Pretty much lost the game. We had a few spastic like teammates that that usually happens when you're playing league play, which is a little bit gay, but can't really do much about it. That guy at the end there got a bit cut at the shitty teammates. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.